my head, that no person or entity shall hold any legal, equitable, ownership, or beneficial interest directly or indirectly of more than three cultivation centers under this article, aka the CRTA. I have recently stumbled across a company, Innovative Industrial Properties, and I actually checked their website again, and they claim to own 100% of seven cultivation centers, which has changed since the last time I read. Based off of how the law reads, and based off of that, like how are they able to do that? And you know, if that's something that they're doing, investigate it. Right? And that's how regulation works. You know, we, we get when there is a process for changes in ownership and, and we do take a look at those to make sure that the law is being followed. You know, in cases where there are allegations that it's not, you know, of course, that's something we're going to look into. It's something we take very seriously. It is a one of the more difficult things to track down because sometimes those structures are opaque. Sometimes, you know, tracking down who owns what is difficult. You know, and I know that my colleagues at DFPR are also working very diligently on this. Something we take very seriously. The execution of those laws is important and making sure that those those limitations are in place. I just, again, I mean, when they say, when the law says they shouldn't hold any legal, equitable ownership mm -hmm. or beneficial interest directly or indirectly, and this is their website and, mm -hmm. and Cres Cresco and the other companies mm -hmm. that, that work with this, they say that this is what they're doing. They own the cultivation center, but Cresco is operating it. I'm just trying to figure out like how that's not in, how that doesn't conflict with the law. You know, that seems like sure. clearly they're over the limit. Well, and it depends on what they mean when they say own. That sounds like the most dodgy thing I could possibly say. Yeah. And I know I feel bad, but they say they own 100% of it on their website. Right. And folks across any industry, not just cannabis, can be imprecise not covering for or trying to defend any actions there, but what they say and what the actual reality is may be different. Um, and I can't weigh on in any specific instance of this, you know, but what I can say is that we, we are very diligent in enforcing those provisions. And, you know, when things are brought to us, when we find them through um, our review of their financial structures or through the renewals, you know, we, we take all of this very seriously and we do review those things. I, I